Hey YouTube, Jake DeAndrea coming at you guys with another video. Um, this time it doesn't involve cars. This is how to jailbreak your iPod with 4.1.1 software. Yeah, uh, the camera's a little shaky because I had to hold it. My tripod's a piece of shit. So let's get started. First, um, I'll have link in the description. You're gonna want to go to greenpoison.com forward slash downloads. I don't know if you guys can see that. Greenpoison.com forward slash downloads. The link will be in the description. So then you're gonna get this. Just a big um, apple with a skull on it. Now it'll say green poison downloads. Now you wanna go to if you have 4.1 or 4.1.2 they both work the same but for different softwares. So if you have um, 4.0 I recommend you upgrade to 4.1, which is RC4. So then what you're going to do is if you have Windows, Mac, or Linux, you're going to upgrade, you're going to, um, did I say, uh, da download that. So then you set it up, and um, I recommend downloading it to your desktop. Mine is already in this handy little folder because I jailbreak all my friends' iPods. So what you want to do is just double tap that and click run and um, I don't know if yours gives you this Apple TV unless you're jailbreaking an Apple TV just click no so it'll say prepare to jailbreak DFU so what we're gonna, just gonna do is leave that sitting there on your desktop so oh, fuck. see you gotta make sure guys cause this will sometimes X out iTunes so you have to make sure you open that first then iTunes so just give me a second here guys I forgot to uh, get my iPod. Let me go get my iPod. Now this, my iPod is pre-jailbroken, and I'm not gonna re-jailbreak it just for some stupid video. But as you can see, so um, my iPod is 4.1.1 software, which is the software where it still doesn't allow you to put your own. Uh, it lets you put your own lock screen, but this is a. Uh, custom winterboard theme as you can see I have a little Ferrari logo in the corner there alright whatever so uh, what you guys want to do next is take your iPod and um, plug it into your computer yes you don't have to have it plugged in right this second but I apologize for not having mine I'm a dumbass I didn't realize I was going to be making this video today Anyway, so once you have it plugged in, it'll uh, come up, so just double click it, and then you're going to want to put your iPod in the, oh shit, no, 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 I don't want to sync, no, 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 I don't want to sync, god damn it. Alright, so if it says sync, just exit out, so, um, see, mine has an update for, f uh, mine does not have an update yet, so you don't want to click restore, that's only if your iPod gets all fucked up, which it won't with this jailbreak, I promise. I'd, I've done it with, you know, all of people I know who have Apple devices. Alright, so what you want to do now is put your iPod in a DFU mode. So how you do that is, uh, you go hold the home button and the power button for 10 seconds. So this will come up, slide the power off, it'll go blank. Just keep holding for a couple more seconds. Now let go and hold your home button. Now you'll know when you get DFU mode because the screen will be black, completely black, nothing comes up, but on iTunes it'll say right there, iPod, iTunes has detected an iPod is in recovery mode, you must restore it. Ignore that. We just needed iTunes to tell us that it's in recovery mode, so you can leave iTunes open. So what you want to do now is prepare to jailbreak. Now it'll say ready to jailbreak. I'm not going to click jailbreak, but once you guys click jailbreak, it's all going to be done for you right there. It'll load, load, load. Some, um, the screen will be black and some white lettering will pop up. That's perfectly normal. And once it loads up, you'll get an app called Loader. And once you get it, just download Cydia and you can do it right from your iPod, guys. This, this right here, I love this. I am not a computer whiz, but I love how simple, um, this is. Green Poison. So, um... Anyway, guys, link is in the description. Keep that in mind. Link is in description. So, um, and also, it's not just for 4.1. There's 4.1.2, 5.1. I mean, 5.0.1.
Apple A5 devices. Um, and by the way, this is untethered, so you don't have to plug it in to start it up every time. I'm just doing it for safety precautions on my iPod. I don't want to plug it up again. See, then there's uh, 5.1.1, which I will do a video for later today. I'll show you guys because I just jailbroke broke my brand new uh, iOS 4, uh, 5.1.1, brand new iPod Generation 4. This is a Generation 2. As you can see, there's no camera anywhere. Alright, guys, so um, any questions? Link is in the description. I've said it a hundred times. Link is in the description. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to comment about it. And um, I'll make a video, a help video, if there's too many people who can't get it. I'll make a help video, and um, if it comes to worst to worst, um, I'm actually going to set up an eBay account and do jailbreaking for your iPod. Um, you, of course, have to pay for shipping, but um, you, of course, have to pay for shipping, but um, see, and then this will come up also while your iPod is loading from jailbreak. Anyway, so I'm going to set probably set up an eBay account where um, you pay for probably like 10, 15 bucks, maybe less. And I can put everything on there that you would want. You list it, I'll put it on. Um, I can put custom sliders. I'll make a video I'll make videos how to put custom sliders. Um, so again, guys, links in the description. Comment if you have a question. Like this video. Subscribe to my goddamn channel, please people. I need subscribers. I'm making all these videos for you guys. This is not for me. This is to educate people. I was educated this way. YouTube is a big help. So if you guys could subscribe, you don't know how much that means to us YouTube people. Alright guys, so um, thanks, hope this video helped, and you guys have a good day.